So we're in Target, and this is the Christmas Disney section in Target. Like a little Christmas sweater, Marvel. Yeah, a Marvel Christmas sweater. And then they have Christmas crackers that are Disney. They have a yeah. countdown to Christmas up here. This is a Christmas tree. Uh, it goes around the bottom of your Christmas tree. It's a skirt for Christmas. And, oh yeah, there's a different one. And then they have a big train. So this is all out just for Christmas. And then it looks like they have some clothes over there. They have some pajamas. Here's some t-shirts. Oh, wow. Look at that. Holly Jolly, Jolly, sorry, Jolly Holly Days to You, and it says 2023. And then they have one with Stitch. They have one with Mickey Mouse, and it's it's a thick sweater. And then they have, I guess, just regular stuff here. That one has Minnie Mouse. So, then this is just the regular stuff. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't have more... Uh, Disney Christmas stuff. Um, but you know what? You're li very likely to go in Walmart, and Walmart usually has Disney stuff too. Uh, Kevin was looking at this elf syrup, and it's just regular syrup. <laughs> and then he saw these fudge stripes. We had already reviewed those fudge stripes. They were like the gingerbread ones, but we reviewed them. Um, the elf, don't be fooled. It is a different wrapper, but uh, it is the same old syrup you've always seen. Uh, we uh, were really excited to see all the favorite day stuff in Target. Of course, you can see there still is a lot to come. Uh, a lot of the, the shelves are still empty, and people have already picked stuff up and set it down where it's not supposed to go. Um, here are the uh, Decker balls. And notice, those are not Pyrex balls. Those are like Target brand came out with their own balls. They don't even put the Py Pyrex balls back in that area anymore. Uh, this is their Pepperidge Farm cookies. Now, if you go in Meyer, they have them on a special display. It's a, it's actually a really nice display. The display in Meyer is nicer than the one here. Um, but um, pretty much the same selection. We were looking at the alcohols because last year we got some from here. And it was really fun to try them out. Uh, you know, Kevin and I don't drink a lot. And so uh, when we do... Uh, it's it's just something different, something different to try. So Kevin's down there checking out favorite day stuff. He has his phone out because he's going to my channel and typing in favorite day and then whatever the thing is that we're interested in because there's nothing more frustrating than to uh, to buy something and then get home and it's like, ah, we've already reviewed this. And let me just tell you, um, in the fresh market, they we get no cell service in the fresh market at all we when we first go into the fresh market you get cell service like right at the front door right when you walk in if you walk back into the store at all you can't look up anything so it's like if it's something that we tried a long time ago and i'm like did we try it did we not try it and you know you really don't want to to pay an expensive price like you do at the fresh market so you really want to be able to look that stuff up and it's very frustrating because I, I have before and kevin has too we've been in the back of the store and we will walk all the way up to the front of the store just to get cell service because you don't want to spend all that money you see i'm i'm showing the those reese's cups andrew loves those those are like i think they're like a pound or something reese's cups I wish they would make a white chocolate one. Um, and I also wish they would come back out with the Reese's peanut brittle because uh, that stuff is just awesome. So they have a lot here. I'm looking at it. I've also got my phone out because I'm taking some pictures for Instagram. And I'm just trying to see what do they have that uh, that we may want to, to try, want to review for the channel. 
Okay, I found the Marks and Spencer display. I hate where they put it. It's in a very, very cramped spot. And instead of uh, putting it back by the Christmas stuff, they put it over here to the side. And it's just, it's in a very cramped spot. Like, there's not near as much room to look at stuff as there would have been if they had put it in the back. But that's how it looks. <laughs> there goes Kevin. That was hilarious getting Kevin walking by like that. I don't know if he knew I was filming or not, uh, but that was funny to watch his face. Um, this is the section in like the front of Target. They did have other, a lot of other uh, Christmas decor in the back next to the food where we were just at, but there were so many people and there was like a person in every single aisle and it's very hard for me to film when there's a person in every aisle. I mean, I can and I do, but I try uh, really hard to be as discreet as I can. And I've gotten the question before, you know, does, does anybody ever see you filming or whatever? Yes, they do. <laughs> they do. And um, I get looks like, even though people are constantly filming on their phone, um, because I'm filming with a camera and not a phone, I just think some people still see that as just really bizarre. So I do try to get film in areas where there's nobody there. Um, and there were just a lot of people in the back where the ornaments and stuff like that. And I really, I don't think you all would be interested in that. If you would, let me know. And, and maybe we'll go back to Target and film it. You'll just have to let me know. I figured you all would go and see it for yourself. So Meyer has a lot of their gift sets out. Uh, but then they also, oh, Ariana Grande has some really cool uh, packaging up there. Meyer had a lot out. I do think they had a lot of, of candy and stuff like that out. Uh, these are like stocking stuffers. Um, they've, they've put their stocking stuffers like over to the side. And it surprises me that they have them off to the side like this, honestly. Because I think they would be better off in the center of the aisle, like... Like, as you're going from the front of the store to the back, I don't know. It's just, I, I think you would be able to see them better. But, uh, the, you know, they'll, they'll sell a lot over here. This is all the craftsy stuff. This is stuff that uh, Christina likes to get for the grandkids. Uh, she likes to do this stuff. Ashley also likes to buy this type of thing. As long as it's not like... Uh, religious or something like that she could buy it for her classroom and and they like doing things like that Kevin was pointing at this giant coloring book because he said you would use up all your crayons uh, before you uh, finished a, a page on it they did have uh, random aisles of uh, wrapping paper and, and gift bags and stuff like that elf on the shelf I'm so glad so so glad that the elf on the shelf was not a thing when our kids were little because we would have we would have done that for sure and but it would have driven me crazy and that's just the truth it's just you're just giving yourself another job to do these are white mountain puzzles which i love white mountain puzzles uh, but i wanted to look on both sides to make sure they didn't have any ravensburger puzzles because those are the ones that ashley has been working i don't think she's done one in a while but she, she does like those quite a bit. I like the white mountain puzzles just because they are, they're easier, frankly. They're just easier. And then we're looking at the, uh, the kits, the gingerbread kits. They had Swiss Miss and The Office and Candyland. And they had peanuts and all kinds of stuff. It seems like, yeah, minions. Lots and lots to do over here. Uh, cupcake decorating stuff. Those cups are cute. Yeah. No, no. Those are definitely not practical to drink out of, and they're not practical to wash either. That's that's for certain. Um, really, they're they're cuter if you can like just stick something in them, like straws or something, and keep them on the kitchen counter. So we are in another mire. It's actually a better mire. 
because it's just neater. It's, it's, I've said that before. They have these for Christmas, these little pop sockets that you um, hold your phone with, but they also have more of their stocking stuffer stuff out. And um, so I figured I would show it to you because the other, uh, the other wire didn't have all of their stuff out. I keep buying stocking stuffers and Kevin keeps telling me uh, we need to quit buying stocking stuffers because I think we have enough stocking stuffers. What I need to do at this point is I have bought a lot and I don't remember who I bought for or what I have bought. And so I need to get it all out and I need to sort it and I need to see, okay, who's left to buy for? Because I guarantee you I have not bought much for Andrew. I have probably not bought much for Christina. The kids are really, really easy to buy for. I know I've gotten some stuff for Ashley, but I probably still need to buy some stuff for her too. But uh, I'm sure I need to buy more for Andrew because usually it's it, he's a little bit hard. It's harder to buy for boys, I think. Stockings. So this reminds me a lot of like when we go to Lowe's and what Lowe's usually has out for the winter. I mean, this looks very, very similar. Those are cute. And uh, the outdoor stuff. And then they, of course, have little things. They have whole sections of Christmas stuff. I just, I just uh, saw this stuff. Look at the hedgehog. <laughs> Look, there's a buddy for Kevin. A little friend for Kevin. And then they have clothes, uh, which... We saw those before. Oh, the holiday swag gifts for men. And they have, um, look, they have Pop Tarts, Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes. Yeah, they, yes, they're, um, they're clothes. They're like, uh, boxer shorts and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, socks. And then, like, these are like boxer briefs. And what are the, the ho hos? Code red. And they have boxers. Wow, that's some. That makes a statement, doesn't it? Yeah. They have Twinkies, look, Cheez-Its, Aga Waffles, Pickle Rick. <laughs> and then on this side, let's see if they have any. Oh, yeah, they have Hershey's, Blow Pops, Tootsie Roll. That's your ugly Christmas sweater. Um, they have Jolly Rancher, Ruffles, Funyuns. They have all this toxic waste, Reese's Pieces. I think it's cute. A lot of them that they say are ugly are cute. Pringles, Icy. There's just tons of these. Oh, look. Good humor. Good humor. And those are supposed to look like uh, Ben and Jerry's. Pringles. Dear Santa, I can explain. Okay, and then they have their trees up here. And I'm seeing some uh, ornaments on over there. So they, they do have a lot of stuff. I like how they have it arranged though at this mire. It's all in one section. This is as jolly as I get. <laughs> oh, and here's even all the Christmas movies in one spot. Yeah. So these are uh, just random ornaments that they had at Meyer. And this is the kind of thing that I was telling you that Target had. Target had a lot of this type of thing out. And I didn't film any of it because I figured, you know, you all probably wouldn't be interested in seeing it, honestly. But like I said, if you are, you can let me know. I thought Meyer had a lot of really cute ornaments, uh, just all kinds of different themes. And it's always fun to see what's popular right now, uh, because right now, like you can buy the Cocoa Melon. Ten years from now, you probably won't be able to get the Cocoa Melon anymore. So uh, it's fun to collect those things now uh, while they're still available. And now I'm back, back on the flag. Don't look surprised that I'm still singing because you know I have a knack. Okay, who owned or still owns one of those uh, 
fish and has it hanging on your wall? And does it still work after all these years? Because at one point, those were very, very popular. And it seemed like the, the tail would flop around. Like, like it would sing, but the tail would flop back and forth or something like that. And so I just wonder, all the people that bought those back in the day, do they still work? <laughs> so I, I personally never had one. I just saw them. Are these, these are Lego yeah, sets. Yeah. Oh, Lego wow. 2,319 pieces. Oh, wow. Oh, they have a lot of Lego here. Uh, look at this city. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. You're big in airplanes. So oh, yeah. Look. I just picked that up oh, okay. for her stocking. I like how they have the displays here. At Armeyer, they don't have any displays. They, uh, the Legos have come a long way. I, uh, Andrew was joking with me a couple weeks ago. He said, I would like to get you a Lego kit and Dad a Lego kit and get you to open them up at the same time and take them out and put them together. And I told him, I said, Andrew, I have never in my life put a Lego kit together. And he said, oh, I know. He said, I think it would just make a really funny video. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, funny for who? Not for your mother. Um, because I don't know that I would even, I wouldn't even know how to begin. I mean, like, Unless they give you, okay, here's part number one and number two and number three. And I know they don't do that. I know they don't have instructions like that. I don't even, I wouldn't even know how to begin to put a Lego set together. I'm, I'm sure it would be very comical. I'm sure he would get a good kick out of that. We are at Walmart and they have all their, their Christmas candy out here. And uh, so a lot of it's the, the same stuff that's always out. So far, we haven't seen anything new or uh, different. Oh, Chips Ahoy. So this whole side is popcorn tans. And then on this side, they have the Lent. They have the great big Kit Kat, Russell Stover. That's the size Reese's Cup that Andrew likes, is that huge one. They, <laughs> Kevin said that's the size he likes. They have the Terry's uh, chocolate, Lent. Uh, then down here they have uh, candy canes. Notice they don't have music on in here. I'm really glad they don't have music on because so many other stores are blaring it lightly and eh. so we had already seen those in our walmart these little i wouldn't use those as a stir spoon i would just just eat well, it, it in there and supposed to out. right yeah, holiday butter, yeah they have huge giant candy canes did you see those Okay, what else do they have down here? Oh, yeah, the Oreo snowballs, those are good. Is it kind of like filled up like, a, an egg, yeah. like one of those eggs? Yeah, like a Kinder Egg. And they do have a Kinder Santa. Clausen, that's just a ornament. With gummy candy. Oh, it has good. I was going to say, why did they put it over here? Oh, look, there's a, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. my 100% true opinion on these cocoa bombs is don't buy them. I just wouldn't buy them at all. I've gotten them sent to me for free from Frankfurt and from other companies. I bought them myself before I knew better and I just, I, I wouldn't buy them at all. I don't think they're worth it. You see the Santa Claus is coming to town and they have yeah. the Grinch. Is that Sally Lou Who? Yeah. It's only three of Huh? Ping 
long one, Poe? What's the big one? Oh, it's a whoopee cushion. Yeah, it's a whoopee cushion. Then they got these. I personally would not buy the whoopee cushion. <laughs> um, they had lots of uh, the, just the the regular stuff, the stuff you see everywhere. They have do have a lot of containers. Those containers are nice if you make uh, fudge or Chex Mix or candies, any kind of Christmas candies or anything. It's nice to buy the little special decorative tins to keep them in. I like storing things like for fudge. If you're going to store it in the refrigerator anyway, I like to put it in a tin instead of like a Rubbermaid container because I think the tin is colder, just like a, a drink in a glass bottle. The glass bottle is colder than in a can. Well, same thing goes with the tin. The tin is going to get colder than um, a, a Rubbermaid container. So I would recommend uh, getting them if you haven't gotten them before. Uh, this is a Play-Doh. So let me show you the newest Barbie house. It looks like this. If I hadn't have just bought Amelia and Evie a Barbie house, I would totally get that for them because that's cool. Um, but then Kevin noticed down here they have the Snoopy Snowco machines. It's different than what we had. This one has the crank in the top. Right. Ours was in the back. Ours was in the back, yes. Yeah, no, you're right. So we figured we would just uh, look through the look through some of the toys picky kitty <laughs> oh here's another big house this is a disney house though wow, look at her. Oh, she's pretty cool looking and here's these big lego sets a lot of people put these together and leave them on a table like you would um, a floral arrangement. So we uh, we were looking through the toys just because you never know when you're going to find something on sale or something that's really cool. Oh, that's cute. And makeup kit. This Melissa and Doug, if you've never bought it, it's a great I brand. I love all these dolls. They never had dolls like this when, when I was a kid. They are expensive, though. They're not yeah, cheap. Really cool. Oh, they're very pretty. Very pretty. The only thing is, once you take them out of the box, they're not going to be oh, that pretty anymore. <laughs> we found that their buildings don't last. Anymore. Oh, yeah, but I mean, the characters are cool, but the yeah, don't you know, they those are uh, those are some new things. Yeah, like the uh, tiles. We've now. got a blue van. Yeah, but I don't, I don't recognize those characters. Uh, no, uh, no, in that little thing right I there, that house. You wouldn't get them another no, house. They fall apart. No, but would you get them characters? The characters are cute, easy on them. But I think they have enough characters, honestly, because I bought everything. These are like the American Girl dolls. There's that new uh, Disney show, a Disney movie. Oh, Wish, yeah. Some of these Disney movies we haven't seen. Kevin and I, I, I we've gotten to the point that we don't keep up with the, the Disney movies anymore. We don't keep up with cartoons anymore or any kid shows anymore. So, you know, you wonder, when does that happen in your life? Well, <laughs> when you don't have kids living in the house, um, it's just there's no need for you to keep up with that stuff. And, I, you know, I've always liked cartoons. I think they're fun. Um, I, I, I really do enjoy cartoons, but then there's only so many hours in the day. So would I rather watch an adult show or would I would rather watch a cartoon? Well, guess what? I'm going to watch an adult show, usually uh, something reality. We end up getting this for Evie for Christmas. Don't tell her if you see her. Um, but uh, yeah, I, we're just not up to date. I've never seen this one. Barbie extra set. That in the picture looks like one of the little Olsen twins. Twenty six ninety seven or something. Yeah, I think it's expensive. It is expensive, but we ended up getting it anyway because the child loves Frozen, and we knew she would appreciate it. Oh, this is cute. Uh, uh, infl inflatable for a pool. So we, Amelia has. Uh, 
a whole house. She has a whole dream house full of furniture. She has furniture for every single room. Um, and it, she doesn't need any more. So I think, I'm thinking I bought her one Barbie set for Christmas, but I think that's it. And then this stuff we always look at for Gavin because he likes Among Us. Oh, look at that. I see that. Now, this Five Nights at Freddy stuff, I think it's cool for me, like, personally as an adult. I, I, um, if I still collected, like, Halloween stuff, stuff like that, I think that Five Nights at Freddy's looks like it would be cool stuff to put out for Halloween. Um, I mean, it's just really awesome, and I've never watched it or anything like that. But now I've not bought any of that for Gavin. So I don't even know if, if Gavin, I'm sure he knows what it is, but we've never bought him any of the stuff, and I don't know that he's ever played it. All the Ninja Turtle stuff. This is in Walmart. They have a Stranger Things. They have a Surfer Boy pizza van. What is that, Kevin? It's like a, the upside down globe. And globe okay, what is that Scoops Ahoy thing next to it? That's all Stranger Things stuff. And That's look. Look, they have the Squid Games thing. Yep. What is that? It says try me. Oh, that's it. Probably supposed to say something. Oh, it turns green or red. Oh, green or red. Okay. Oh, and they have some stuff from when? when? Speakers. <laughs> is there any of the Stranger Things the stuff that Gavin would want? Like, would he want whatever... Flip between worlds. Yeah, you flip the globe over. Do you think he would want any of this stuff? Look, there's a Surfer Boy pizza van, a radio controlled vehicle. Mm. Can't imagine one of that. And then they have the Squid Game coloring book. We're not getting him the Stranger Things coloring book. That is. That's, new. That's an album. That's an album. What's the box? What is the box? Something game, the Hunger Games. Oh, the Hunger Games. I was covering up the letter that was telling me what it was. Do you think he would want any of that stuff? Uh, we got him some stuff. Though. Okay. So last week we did not have a regular vlog. What I did was I said that Kevin and I had been very busy, and we had not had time to film anything, go anywhere, do anything, and. Uh, that is because you're going to see what we were doing. I'm I'm walking upstairs. I'm showing you the upstairs because we are uh, have hired somebody to come and paint. Uh, we wanted them to come paint uh, the whole hallway from top to bottom. And then we have three bedrooms upstairs and we wanted them to paint these three bedrooms. This is Ashley's old room. Ashley painted two walls in this like eggplant color and then the other two walls are in a gray. And uh, so we hired uh, someone to paint the walls and the trim. And so this is why we didn't have a regular vlog last week, if you tuned in. And we did the questions. We just sat at the table and we answered 20 questions. And I want to thank everyone uh, for your compliments. You all were so nice. So very, very nice. Uh, saying that you enjoyed that video. And some of you said, I enjoy that, enjoyed that more. Just you all sitting there, uh, talking and answering those questions. And I do a regular vlog and you know, that, that just really means a lot to me. And I appreciate that. This is another room upstairs. Ashley had her, uh, it was, we called it her dressing room. And she kept her clothes in there. That wallpaper in that room that you just saw did not look like that. It, Kevin and I had gone in there and tried to like trim it up to make it look better. And then this is what we refer to as her office because this is where she kept a desk years ago when she lived here. Sometimes the cam camera has trouble. Um, uh, yeah, sometimes it's it's hard for it to uh, get a clear picture there because. Um, there's nothing to focus on, uh, but uh, we uh, we wanted it to to look better up here. You can see these three 
rooms are just completely empty. Notice the curtains in the hall. Um, I'm showing you the curtains. I'm showing you the wainscoting. And um, I'm just trying to get a good look at that because it's going to be painted and I wanted to get a good before. And then you go down the steps and you can see my dad had put the shelf across the top and he also put those bars. If you notice those bars, that's because he and my mom had quilts and they would hang quilts from those bars. And then this is the hallway, um, the bookshelf, and this is... Uh, this is where I would keep my coffee cups and, and we're getting a good look at the Kevin's looking at the different colors of paint. And uh, we want this all, you know, we want the trim to be white, white, white. <laughs> and then um, at this point, I don't even know if we had picked out our paint color or not. I knew what I wanted, but you could see the difference in the paint color. And uh, so I'm just trying to pan all around so that we get a really good before. That light fixture, they're not going to touch. But we had to take everything off the walls. Uh, we had a mirror hanging up here. And so now we're going upstairs. This is after the first day they had been up there. And you're going to see. Okay, so they had painted that room they had painted Ashley's whole room, and we did not upstairs. So there's wallpaper in two of these rooms. Ashley's room had wallpaper on three walls, and we told them we want just paint right over the wallpaper because the wallpaper in this room especially is so good and thick, and it's really stuck to the walls well that it's it's not bad at all. It, it's not like it was peeling off. So... Um, this is the color I picked for not only the hallway, but all three of these rooms up here. Honestly, I would take this color and do the whole house that color because I love it. This room, we got them to do over the wallpaper as well. It uh, There are some places where you can see it doesn't look perfect. The walls aren't in the best condition at all, but uh, we uh, were just trying to make it look better. And then this room, uh, it was really hard to see because of the lighting in this room. Uh, but they um, they did hit the bottom of the walls. They hadn't gone over the top part yet. Uh, but I'm just showing that was day one. And they also did this door. So you can see the difference between the door and the rest. And now we're going to look at the i think they did the baseboards on this yeah they did the ceilings so this was like the second day they were here and they had done the ceilings in white and it's also going to be hard for you to see uh, when it's really bright because there's no uh, we took all the curtains and stuff off these windows but i love the that bright white i like that clean look um, that's that really impresses me it's just to see it so clean. And uh, I, uh, Kevin and I, in our uh, old house, we painted, we painted every single room ourselves. But honestly, uh, I've just, it's gotten to the point where I would do the baseboards and stuff like that. And I have a hard time sitting on the floor for a long time. That's, you know, that just, it's something that comes with aging that, that may affect you. It may not affect you. It's affected me to where I cannot sit on the floor for long periods of time where it really hurts my hips. So this is that other room. They did the baseboards. I, I was looking like, oh my gosh, they're going to know I've been in here because they had left for the day and I came in here to film. And it's like I left shoe prints all over the floor. It's like they're going to know we were checking up to see we weren't like checking in on them because I knew they were doing a good job. It was just like I wanted to see. I wanted to see what what job they had done. In this room, this is Ashley's room again. I'm showing you. Yes, they've been in here because they did the door. They uh, because we had bought the door and installed it, and um, then we had never painted it or anything like that. So once again, in here, I'm showing the. Um, the uh, the baseboards and everything and the crown molding and then here at the window um and uh 
Yeah, just very impressed that uh, they got everything done. That they make quick work of it. You know, when it's professionals, it's different than you doing it yourself because they know what they're doing and they leave it so clean. So the reason why, if I hired them to do upstairs in the hallway, why am I showing you the living room? Well, I'm showing you because this wallpaper looks horrible. It looks awful. It has looked like this since we moved into the house. We moved into this house in 2012, and it has it's looked like this for a long time. Anytime you have wallpaper, um, you know, this is it can happen so it ended up that i said hey while you're here do you mind if if i were to take this wallpaper off could you fix these walls and could you then paint this room and he said sure and he also we hired him to do the front porch i forgot to tell you that part we hired him to paint the uh, the ceiling of the front porch and the railings and the actual porch itself and then around the sides of the porch, which you'll see here in a little bit. But right now I'm showing you down at the baseboards because Dad had painted this room. It, it did have a blue trim, and you can see where that blue is, is showing, and so... Uh, you'll be impressed in a little bit when it's all covered. So this is day three of the paint. We're not going to go upstairs tonight, um, but I can tell you what they, so I don't know what they did upstairs, but I can tell you what they did downstairs. They did the hallway. They did the shelves out here. They did uh, the hallway back here. They did the spindles and uh, the... Uh, stairs the fronts right here you can see they did all that in the hall up there and this wall and then in my bathroom they um, she started in here I took the um, whatever valance the valance down and the curtains the curtains were really old took those down and so she painted around the windowsill and she painted all this um, just the um, wainscoting and then she started with the molding up there so you could see where she stopped so she didn't get very far she just got like this corner but she did do all the wainscoting here but then out in the um, living room um, I did a before earlier of this room with all the furniture and, uh, so, um, Kevin had a meeting today and I started taking the wallpaper down while he was at his meeting. Ashley came over and helped me for about, uh, 40 minutes and she got a lot of it off this wall and this part right here. Uh, but then, uh, Kevin and I, this is the workers stuff right here. Um, they're going to power wash the front porch tomorrow. Uh, but Kevin and I uh, took the rest of the paper down, and then we went to Lowe's, and we bought some um, stuff to spray on the walls, and it came off really easy once we put that spray on the walls. So this is what it looks like now. There's quite a bit of uh, places that need to be patched up. There's a big hole here. There's one next to the front door. There's one there. Um, there's an area up here that needs to be patched. Lots of work needs to be done up here, so we'll just have to see what they say. But this is what it looks like, uh, and all the furniture is in there. But this is what it looks like um, with, uh, with no wallpaper on the walls. I wish we had done this to the entire house before we ever even moved in. So on the fourth day, they finished my bathroom, and uh, it looks very nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, it's a very crisp, white, clean color. We had the mirror behind the bathtub, and I decided to take it off and not put it back up. I like it better without, and honestly, um, it's one less thing for me to clean. Um, and then out here, this bookshelf is probably dry. I can probably put my stuff back up on this bookshelf. Um, 
and they finished the hallway. They did the, um, all the, uh, the little, uh, posts. What are those called? Spindles. They did all the little spindles. They did all the top. And then the rooms upstairs look exactly the same. They're finished too. So they're coming today to start on the front porch. They power washed the front porch yesterday. And then they're going to start on this room, uh, fixing uh, what uh, the messed up plaster, they're gonna start on this this afternoon. You can really see it in this uh, light right here. So they power washed the uh, side of the porch here because they're going to paint this black just like they did the roof, which are the ceiling of the porch, which I love. Um, he uh, painted white, the railings white, the columns white. He did all that today. So we're going to go around front and look and uh, see how it looks. So the railings are uh, nice, clean. Kevin, is this uh, the wonder if there's any wood putty left in there? The, so the ceiling is uh, all black. I can't remember if I showed that or not. And then uh, this is how the railing looks. And then the handrails were in really bad shape. And so those look refreshed. Yeah, we still have some gaps in, in here. And then inside, yeah, he'll come back and he'll do around the door, I guess, the white. Well, I know he will. Yeah, it's really, really dusty. Really, really dusty. It's okay. So this, uh, the, the ceiling, they redid the ceiling because it was... Um, where it had been done before, it was hanging down in like clumps. in clumps, and so they sanded it down, yeah, and they ma like they made it look better. But then the walls, they did a skim coat over the whole thing. There were, I mean, this looks terrific. Yeah, you would be. Did you show before? Yeah, I did. Or yeah, or I did a video before. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. They still have to do one more sanding. To get these little bridges out. Uh huh. Oh, they took that uh, the shade down in here. Yeah, they said, "Can we take it down?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "It's just uh, where did they put it?" Where did they? They may have stuck it around. Oh, okay. Yeah, where they stuck it? Uh huh. They may have stuck it in the hallway. So that's how it looks because there were places up here. There were places right up there. There was a hole, uh, a gap. Uh, right here, there was also one up here at the top of this uh, window, and they covered that. The, the front door had a big bulge in it. Remember, they had a big bulge, bulge right here. Oh yeah. That looks pretty flat. So once they sand all these little things where they skim coated it just now, uh -huh. you won't even be able to see any of that. That'll all be smooth. It's been a couple days, and we're back in this room. They they had to wait. It took what two days for it to dry, to dry out, and then they came back in this afternoon and they sanded the walls flat, and so now they're uh, nice and flat. And tomorrow they're going to come and. Uh, paint. They're going to paint the trim and they're going to paint the walls uh, the same color that we got in the hallway and the rooms upstairs and uh, then they'll be finished. Their work will be done. Um, I, I forgot to show outside. Uh, I'll show the, uh, well, I can show the side. So I can show the side first. And they painted this uh, pipe that comes out here for the furnace, which I'm really glad about. They painted the porch black, so it matches the roof. Yeah, that looks really good. They painted all that lattice work. Behind there is black. This is what it looks like without the curtains. Uh, my parents, when they lived here, they had curtains forever. 
Uh, you can see the W came off the back of the door. I don't know if you can see it good or not in this light because yeah. the sun's shining. That looks really nice. But the, yeah, the W, it, it was, <laughs> my dad really put that W on there good. Um, so we bought this film cover. Is that what you would call it, a film? Window film. Window film. And... I heard somebody else said rabbit go. I would say rabbit goo. Rabbit goo. No, that's definitely rabbit goo. G-O go. No, it's rabbit goo. So Kevin watched a video showing how to put this on the window. So um, it gives you a little bit of privacy, but people could like still see like figures behind it. when you it's see like ghostly like images. Right. Yeah. So. Um, we just got the privacy one. Yes, so I thought this this uh, the pattern on here would go well with this house, and I'll show it to you um, now. But I also will show it to you like at night when we turn uh, the light on and it's dark outside. Yeah, I'll show you from outside. Yeah, I can show you what it looks people, like. When I was watching videos, they were like, um, "That's great to show me how to do it, but you didn't show me what it looks like from the outside." Right. I know the light coming in. It's. And a bright. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Yeah. Do you like it like no. hanging down? I think it should be up. Or up. Oh, you know, I do like it. I like it up. You like it like this? I think, it, go do it the other way again. You know, it looks good either way. Yeah, I don't know what the appropriate. I think it's do. supposed to be up. I, I think it's supposed to be up. Yeah, yeah, I think it's supposed to be like that. But now we have seen some of these that where they have applied them and they put them sideways even. <laughs> like this. Yeah, because the window's well, wide. The window, if that was turned sideways like above the door. Right. Instead of doing like a bunch of different short ones, they just did one long one sideways. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't know, that'd be pretty evident on this pattern, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, you'd be able to tell that it was yeah. sideways. Yeah, right. I know the light is horrible, so I'm not going to film Kevin doing this because yeah. Because the light's shining in, and I'm getting a bunch of darkness and everything. So I'll just show you what it looks like when he's finished and with honestly, it. Honestly, there's some really good videos online that show people doing it. So this is how it looks after, and you probably can't see it really well. We were going to try to cover the top of the door, and it's just, it's such small pieces of glass that you just can't. It, it's just, I mean, I'm sure somebody could, but, <laughs> but we couldn't. Uh, but I think it looks really nice and uh, it gives us privacy without having any bulkiness uh, there at the window or anything to get dusty or dirty or anything like that. So now we're in the hallway. This is at the top of the staircase and we have this window that we, we bought a different film for this. This one, I wanted it to look more like traditional stained glass, but Amazon really doesn't have a lot to choose from. Etsy has some, but... They look cheap. Well, you have to... They were like printed on like plastic with no texture. They were that, but also you had to have the exact measurements of your window. Yes. And whereas this, when you order it off of Amazon, it's just like, okay, what general size do you need? Pick from this, this, or this. So that's what we did. And so this is as close to a stained glass as we could find. Um, so my original idea was to have it only on the bottom part of the window. To have the bottom part of the window stained glass and then have the top part just open. But uh, that way when you walk up to the top of the steps, you don't see the roof. That's the roof to our back porch and our bathroom in the distance. And so I'm thinking when you're walking up the steps, you don't see that roof. Uh, but, and then when you're standing up here, you would just be able to see out to the other, um, rooftops in the distance uh, but um, we're going to try to put it on the top and the bottom and see how it looks so this is how this window looks there's with no light on uh, I'll turn the light on I don't think it, no the light doesn't make any difference anyway uh, but you can see through it so like like I can see still see the images of the rooftops out the window but it's not clear nothing is clear so um, you don't have to have any other window covering at all i think it's beautiful i love it i'm very happy with it
We are out on the porch, and Kevin is going to replace the lights. These lights have been up there. I don't even know when my dad installed these. I wish I did. They were really pretty when he put them in, but you can see they look awful. They've seen better days. They look like something from Pirates of the Caribbean. They look all barnacles are growing on them. So we bought this Allen and Roth brand from Lowe's. I really like this brand. They had... These are kind of mid-sized lights, but they did have much, much bigger lights than this, believe it or not. And they also had smaller ones. So uh, this is the mid-sized range, and Kevin installed them in no time, honestly. It, it didn't take him long at all, um, but they look really good. I'm trying to go like in a little bit of slow motion here so you can see them, but then I do get a still shot of them. So this is the before. And then I'm going to show you the after. And it, I just, I think they, they blend in so much better because we bought black. And so they they blend in a lot better with the shutter than that gold. It's not a gaudy gold anymore. You know, that's, that's what I would have called it. But they look sharp. And then this is that um, hallway um, at night. You can see in. I wanted you to see what it looked like. And that's when we turn the light out, how it looks at night. So today, Kevin is going to put together the first armoire that we bought. Uh, we bought it, and look at the floor <laughs> where they painted. Um, I plan on doing the floors really well after he gets this put together. But we're going to put it right here. My butt will dust a good time there. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> I will have to wash your jeans after this. But we plan on putting it here. Uh, this is going to be the smallest one because of the place we're putting it. But then we might add something onto it. We'll just have to see how much space it takes up over here. This is the living room after. We are very, very, very happy with how it turned out. We're thrilled to death with the walls. I don't know if the wall color really shows up on video because this light cast, these, uh, this light has a yellow, has yellow globes. And I don't know if you can see the, uh, the true color. It's kind of a, it's the same thing that's in the hall. It's kind of a blue gray. Um, you will notice that we have not hung any of our uh, pictures back up on the wall and we probably won't. Um, <laughs> the The plaster was in bad shape. We had the plaster repaired as, as you see and we painted and it's all so fresh and so new that you just if anybody's ever had this kind of work done before you realize that what kind of uh, what an effort it is and how much money you spend and you just hate to put anything back on the walls so we're we're thrilled to death with it and we we really don't want we just don't want to put any nail holes in it just like in our kitchen we redid our kitchen renovated it years ago and the only thing we hung up on the kitchen wall is my youtube plaque <laughs> for my 100,000 subscriber plaque so you know that says a lot for me to th there's that one nail hole in the wall for that plaque and that's it we haven't hung anything else back up just because it's so clean and crisp and we love it uh so this is a uh, the living room, this is how it turned out, and we could not be happier with it. I am loving the film on this window. This one and the one by the front door, absolutely loving it. So we have decided we're going to buy this identical film, and we're going to cover all the windows upstairs. That might sound like overkill to some people, but we will enjoy it. So um, when you come up to the top of the stairs... I have not cleaned the floors. The floors are filthy. We, you know, the, the painters were up here and all that. So the floors are filthy. Uh, but when you come up to the top of the steps, this was Ashley's old room. And it has to focus. And I'm not even turning on any lights, really. I mean, but the, this was Ashley's old room. And if you look back, way back um, to early videos, like 2012, we moved in this house December 2012, so maybe the end of 2012, we created like a wall of mirror, of, not mirrors, um, picture frames here, and she had painted it like a purple color, and so anyway, it, it was really cool. Um, 
but this is the armoire that we bought for in here, uh, the closet. So there's no closets. So we bought all of these closets from Amazon. So this side has shelves. There's three shelves there. And then this side um, has room. There's a bar for clothes. So that's one thing you have to know. If you want a Victorian home, chances are you're not going to get any closets upstairs. You have to have something like this. So we're supplying the, we're supplying the, the closet here. So that, and then there's two of those. So two drawers here, two drawers here. So then to get to, uh, this is just a, an at like an attic space, um, in here. So there's no finished walls in there it's it's attic and then that is attic across the hall and then you walk in here and we had this room painted and we're going to put in Ashley's old room we're going to put the stuff on the window right here we're going to put the stuff on the window and this is the closet for in here and this um, my dad when he moved to South Carolina he bought one of these this is the exact same brand that he bought. The only difference is this was like $800, right about, something like that on Amazon. For $200 more, you can get like this section down here. You can get more of those at the top and they have doors that open like, like a kitchen cabinet. And so we decided not to spend the 200 additional dollars. If we had have, we wouldn't have been able to put it all the way up against this wall because you can see how the ceiling is, is like that. We would have, we could have gotten them and moved it over. But for us, it's like, this is enough space in here anyway. So on this side, uh, once again, you have a bar. And then on this side, you have shelves. So there's three different shelves. And then there's drawers in the bottom. And then in this last room, once again, there's a window. So we're gonna use that film to cover up the window. This, we couldn't get as big of a um, armoire because of where we wanted to put it. So uh, this was the best place to put it. So what we're gonna do, we bought this, but um, if you've ever seen those cubbies, like you can get those cubbies at Target or every place sells them. Meyer sells them, Walmart sells them, every place. Those little squares. And so we're gonna get some of those cubbies and put them here uh, next to this just for additional space. So you'll have the space here and you'll have additional space there. But this is really cute. So you can take the shelf out you can move the shelf down whatever but it has a bar as well for clothes and then this actually looks like two drawers but it's really only one big one there we go so kevin put all three of these together we found all three of them on amazon uh, we like them all uh, this one is perfect. Uh, we had no complaints about it at all. The one in here is great. I don't have any complaints about it. The only one that we had any issue with at all was the one in, oh, you scared me, <laughs> was the one in Ashley's room. And there were complaints about this one, about the doors not being able to get the doors level. And Kevin worked up here for an hour to try to get, like there's just a little bitty gap up here. It's okay though. Yeah, I figured out how to do it on the next one. When you put the hinges in, uh -huh. don't put the single holes in, put the adjustable holes in only. Mm -hmm. Adjust at the height you need and then stick the same. So can you fix it? No. Oh, too late. No, once you put a screw in, it's in there. Oh, okay. Well, some people had complained about that, so they just need to add that to their instructions. Right? Yeah. But I like it. It's nice and white. It's all white. All the, the trim is white. So we just have to get up here and clean the floors and uh, we're all finished. Last Christmas, 
asthma <laughs> asthma in ohio sent us this pop-up festive tree it's a christmas tree and it's gonna end up looking like this and so she mailed it just like this like her address is on the back of this but she mailed it did we get it at right after christmas right or was after. it really close it might have been real oh kevin's gonna look at the date it might have been really close to christmas and maybe that's why i thought i'll save it till next christmas it's not stamped. Mm -hmm. Huh. Odd. Okay. The stamps are not stamped. Okay. Who knows? So, Kevin's going to put this together. The only thing I did was open the flap. Yeah, he opened the flap, and we're going to put it together for this Christmas. I told Asma, I said, I'm going to save it. I think maybe we got it right at Christmas or something. That's cute. That's a little greeting card. Yeah, it's not a note card. That's so cute. Okay. Are all those stickers, or do you pop them out? Them oh, they're the ornaments for the tree. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Each, you know where That's I saw these um, at Hallmark, but it seems like we saw them someplace else. Uh, World Market. That's where it was. It was World Market. So it wasn't this one. It was, or it could have been this one last year. But it was one that was like, um, it was like a bouquet of flowers, and it was at World Market. That's what it was. So, so I guess you have to pop all these out first. Well, I'm just doing it to, to get them out. Um, I mean, I can put the tree up. I can do these in a little bit. There's a lot of ornaments there. 